created back in high school. Uh, my parents bought me uh, a little shears welder uh, back when I was about 16, 17. I started making uh, go kart frames and mini bikes and stuff like that. Um, it wasn't until I'd say six years ago I got more serious uh, as far as artistic uh, abilities. I uh, started going out in the garage at night um, collecting. Um, garbage around my neighborhood, uh, any kind of scrap steel people would throw out. Uh, I'd start creating uh, things like this. Uh, Puppies a little uh, a little more rustic than the pieces I do. Uh, I try to make them a little more refined. Uh, I made them at the end of uh, 2020 on uh, my day job. I run a, um, a production line for uh, a space and military uh, assembly uh, line out in uh, Orchard Park, New York, and uh, work was very uh, hectic and frustrating, and I was very stressed out. So it was about November last year, I went on the garage, I just started kind of throwing stuff together, I wanted to make something. I had a, I had a small metal bison, and we had it up on a bookshelf, and I said, I'm going to take that and kind of try to duplicate the stance, and I was kind of in, in mid-stride. So his name is Huffy. You can see the bike frame here. That is a 20-inch Huffy BMX bike. Uh, like I said, I garbage picked uh, most of the items for him. Uh, got a snow shovel here. Um, old Craftsman drill press. It's kind of the, the blue pieces built in here. Uh, a couple old toolboxes. What, what have you? Uh, chair legs here. Old scale. Any springs, nuts and bolts, whatever I can find, I just started slapping them together. So he started to develop a little bit of character, and I just kind of went with it. So um, the, the nice thing about this piece, I can recognize almost every item I put onto it because I, I remember actually either getting it donated to me or garbage picking it myself, which a lot of my work just kind of goes into a pile and I forget about it. I remember distinctly a lot of these pieces. So. Some people just see scrap metal. I think all the pieces tell a story. This is probably a child's bike you learn how to ride on. Uh, snow shovel, garbage pick in North Buffalo, New York. Probably shoveled snow with a couple of our blizzards throughout the years. So, an old uh, retro chair that uh, kind of got forgotten about probably at grandma's house and somebody threw it to the curb. So every little piece, although it's rustic, it, it tells a story and it means something. So that's kind of what I do in my work. I try to, as a whole, resemble something, but when you walk in closer, you get pulled in by the detail and you really start to see all the little intricate findings in each piece. So that's what I try to shoot for. I made Huffy with an angle grinder and a MIG welder. Those are the two things I basically build all my uh, sculptures with. I have a small bench top uh, mice I use to, to bend the metal slightly when I need to pull things together a lot of times well done. But um, yeah, really, those are basically for all my sculptures. That's the only two tools I use. Yeah, it took, it took a while to play with that, just to get the legs just right. And then, uh, once the legs were attached in the place, I kind of had to straighten them. There's a couple other pieces underneath. So. Um, yeah, all in all, I've, I've been doing a lot of uh, smaller pieces. I have a nut and bolt bee that's become um, pretty famous recently. We've sold pieces uh, to Paris, uh, over the UK, uh, all over the US. More, more renowned for my smaller sculptures. Uh, this is definitely one of the larger pieces I've done. But, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, I actually started with the eyes. Uh, the eyes are two uh, light bolts. They're about an inch and a half. I spray painted them white and I went over them with black people's center of the press I put a couple big washers and they put it in there. I can 
I get the first thing out of his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's right there. Uh, basically, I think a good idea. I want to be thinking about four size, four times the size of the stuff that's on my workbench stuff. I tried to keep it in perspective. What's that? Uh, this is still the one like this. I've done probably a couple hundred smaller, smaller pieces. I have done one full size bison bust. It's about 150 pounds, it's wall mountable. Uh, the horns are about 36 inches across. Um, I still have that for sale on my website. I, I picture that piece in a brewery or a distillery, something like that, mounted on a trip wall. Uh, 